The Gelug Wiley, DGE Lugs Pa is the newest of the schools of Tibetan Buddhism. It was founded by Je Tsongkhapa (1357–1419), a philosopher and Tibetan religious leader. The first monastery he established was named Ganden, which gives an alternative name to the Gelug school, the Ganden Pa, and to this day the Ganden Tripa is the nominal head of the school, though its most influential figure is the Dalai Lama. Allying themselves with the Mongols as a powerful patron, the Gelug emerged as the preeminent Buddhist school in Tibet and Mongolia since the end of the 16th century. The Gelug school was also called the New Kadam because it saw itself a revival of the Kadam school founded by Atisha. Ganden is the Tibetan rendition of the Sanskrit name, Tushita, the pure land associated with Maitreya Buddha. At first, Tsongkhapa's school was called Ganden Cholak, meaning the spiritual lineage of Ganden. By taking the first syllable of Ganden and the second of Cholak, this was abbreviated to Galak and then modified to the more easily pronounced Gelug. Topic. Origins and development The Kadam school was a monastic tradition in Tibet, founded by Atisa's chief disciple Dramtan in 1056 CE with the establishment of Reading Monastery. The school itself was based upon the Lamrim or graded path, approach synthesized by Atisa. While it had died out as an independent tradition by the 14th century, this lineage became the inspiration for the foundation of the Gelug Pa. Topic. Tsongkhapa The Gelug school was founded by Je Tsongkhapa, an eclectic Buddhist monk who traveled Tibet studying under Sakya, Kagyu and Nyingma teachers, such as the Sakya master Rendawa and the Dzogchen master Drupchen Lekhi Dorje, a great admirer of the Kadam school. Tsongkhapa merged the Kadam teachings of Lojong mind training and Lamrim stages of the path with the Sakya tantric teachings. He also emphasized monasticism and a strict adherence to Vinaya monastic discipline. He combined this with extensive and unique writings on Madhyamaka, the Svatantrika Prasangika distinction, and Nagarjuna's philosophy of sunyata emptiness that, in many ways, marked a turning point in the history of philosophy in Tibet. Tsongkhapa's great exposition of the stages of the path Tib. Lam Rim Chenmo, is an exposition of his synthesis and one of the great works of the Gelug school. Tsongkhapa and his disciples founded Ganden Monastery in 1409, which was followed by Drepung 1416 and Sera 1419, which became the Great Three Gelug Monasteries. After the death of Tsongkhapa the order grew quickly, as it developed a reputation for strict adherence to monastic discipline and scholarship as well as tantric practice. Tsongkhapa had two principal disciples, Gyaltsibzha 1364, 1432 and Kedrup Gelik Pelzang, 1st Panchen Lama 1385, 1438. <inaudible> <inaudible> Establishment of the Dalai Lamas In 1577 Sanam Gyatso, who was considered to be the third incarnation of Gyalwa Jendan Drup, formed an alliance with the then most powerful Mongol leader, Alton Khan. As a result, Sanam Gyatso was designated as the third Dalai Lama. Dali is a translation into Mongolian of the name Gyatso Ocean, and Gyalwa Jendan Drup and Jendan Gyatso were posthumously recognized as the first and second Dalai Lamas. Sanam Gyatso was very active in proselytizing among the Mongols, and the Gelug tradition was to become the main spiritual orientations of the Mongols in the ensuing centuries. This brought the Gelugpas powerful patrons who were to propel them to pre-eminence in Tibet. The Gelug Mongol alliance was further strengthened as after Sanam Gyatso's death, his incarnation was found to be Alton Khan's great-grandson, the fourth Dalai Lama. Topic. Emergence as dominant school Following violent strife among the sects of Tibetan Buddhism, the Gelug school emerged as the dominant one, with the military help of the Mongol Gushri Khan in 1642. According to Tibetan historian Samten Karme, Sanam Chofal (1595–1657), treasurer of the Ganden Palace, was the prime architect of the Gelug's rise to political power. Later, he received the title Desi Wiley, S -D -E -S -R -I -S, meaning regent which he would earn through his efforts to establish Gelugpa power. The fifth Dalai Lama was the first in his line to hold full political and spiritual power in Tibet. 
He established diplomatic relations with Qing Dynasty China, built the Potala Palace in Lhasa, institutionalized the Tibetan state Nechung Oracle and welcomed Western missionaries. From the period of the fifth Dalai Lama in the 17th century, the Dalai Lamas held political control over central Tibet. The core leadership of this government was also referred to as the Ganden Fodrang. Scottish botanist George Forrest, who witnessed the 1905 Tibetan rebellion led by the Gelug Lamas, wrote that the majority of the people in the Mekong Valley in Yunnan were Tibetan. According to his accounts, the Gelugpas were the dominant power in the region, with their lamas effectively governing the area. Forrest said they used force and fraud to terrorize the peasantry. After the incorporation of Tibet into the People's Republic of China, thousands of Tibetan monasteries were destroyed or damaged, and many Gelug monks, including the 14th Dalai Lama fled the country to India. The three major Gelug monastic colleges Sarah, Drepung and Ganden, were recreated in India. The Dalai Lama's current seat is Namjil Monastery at Dharamshala. This monastery also maintains a branch monastery in New York City. Teachings Topic. Lamram and Sunyata The central teachings of the Gelug school are the Lamram teachings of Tsongkhapa's Great Exposition of the Stages of the Path Lamram Chenmo, which is based on the teachings of the Indian master Atisa c. 11th century in A Lamp for the Path to Awakening. As the name indicates, this is a hierarchical model in which the practitioner accomplishes varying stages based on the classical Indian Mahayana model of the Bodhisattva. Five paths and ten levels. One initially begins with the desire to seek a good rebirth, and then moves to seeking liberation for oneself motivation, and then to seeking Buddhahood so as to aid the liberation of others Mahayana motivation, further adding Vajrayana methods to aid in the speedy attainment of Buddhahood. Higher motivations build on, but do not subvert the lower ones. Tsongkhapa outlines the three major features of the path thus The intention definitely to leave cyclic existence samsara, Generating the intention to attain awakening for the sake of all sentient beings The correct view of emptiness shunyata, The correct view of emptiness is initially established through study and reasoning in order to ascertain if phenomena are the way they appear. Gelug texts contain many explanations to help one obtain a conceptual understanding of emptiness and to practice insight meditation vipassana. Gelug meditation includes an analytical kind of insight practice which is the point-by-point -point contemplation of the logical arguments of the teachings, culminating in those for the voidness of self and all phenomena. The presentation of Samatha and Vipassana in Tsongkhapa's Lamram is also based on 8th century Indian teacher Kamalasila's Bhavanakrama, or stages of meditation. The highest view of emptiness is considered to be the Prasangika Madhyamika of Kandrakirti, as interpreted by Tsongkhapa. Another important text of Gelug teachings is the Book of Kadam, also known as the Kadam Emanation Scripture, which includes teachings from Kadam masters like Atisha and Dramtan. Topic. Vajrayana practice The tantric practices of the Gelug are also integrated into the stages of the path model by Tsongkhapa's The Great Exposition of Secret Mantra. This is combined with the yogas of Anuttarayoga Tantra Istadavada such as the Guhyasamaha, Kakrasamvara, Yamantaka and Kalakakra Tantras, where the key focus is the direct experience of the indivisible union of bliss and emptiness. The Guhyasamaha Tantra is the principal one. As the Dalai Lama remarks, There is a saying in the Gelug, if one is on the move it is Guhyasamaha. If one is still, it is Guhyasamaha. If one is meditating, it should be upon Guhyasamaha. Therefore, whether one is engaged in study or practice, Guhyasamaha should be one's focus. Tsongkhapa also incorporated the tantric practice of the six yogas of Naropa, and Mahamudra, from the Dagpo Kagyu lineages. This tradition was continued by the first Panchen Lama, who composed a root text for the precious Gelug, Kagyu tradition of Mahamudra. The Gelug tradition also maintains Dzogchen teachings, Lazong Gyatso, 5th Dalai Lama 1617-1682, Tubton Gyatso, 13th Dalai Lama 1876-1933, and Tenzin Gyatso, 14th Dalai Lama are some Gelug Pa Dzogchen masters. Likewise the practice of Chod was taught by Gelug Pa such as Kayabje Zong Rinpoche. 
Topic: Vinaya. The Gelug school focuses on ethics and monastic discipline of the Vinaya as the central plank of spiritual practice. In particular, the need to pursue spiritual practice in a graded, sequential manner is emphasized. Arguably, Gelug is the only school of Vajrayana Buddhism that prescribes monastic ordination as a necessary qualification and basis in its teachers lamas, gurus. Lay people are usually not permitted to give initiations if there are teachers with monastic vows within close proximity. Topic. Study. The Gelug school developed a highly structured system of scholastic study which was based on the memorization and study of key texts as well as formal debate. The primary topics and texts used in study are Monastic Discipline Dulba, Vinaya, Vinaya Sutra by Gunaprabha Abhidharma, Vasubandhu's Abhidharmakosha Epistemology T. Shad Ma, Pramana, which is based on Dharmakirti's Pramanavartika, a commentary on Dignagas Compendium of Valid Cognition Madhyamaka, Chandrakirti's Madhyamakavatara. Prashnaparamita, Maitreya's Abhisamayalankara. Six commentaries by Tsongkhapa are also a prime source for the studies of the Gelug tradition, as follows The Great Exposition of the Stages of the Path The Great Exposition of Tantras the Essence of Eloquence on the Interpretive and Definitive Teachings Drnngnges Legs B Shad Snying Po The Praise of Relativity Rten Brel Bistadpa. The Clear Exposition of the Five Stages of Guyasamaha Deuce Rim Lngagsalsgron and The Golden Rosary Gser Frang according to Georges Dreyfus For each topic studied, the procedure is similar. The process starts with the heuristic memorization of the root text and sometimes of its commentaries. It continues with the interpretation of the root text through commentaries, and culminates in dialectical debate. After the study of the exoteric texts, a monk may then enter the esoteric study and practice of tantric texts, particularly the Guyasamaha, Yamantaka, and Kakrasamvara tantras. A monk who completes all his study may then attempt for a Geshe degree, a rare and difficult title to obtain which can take 15 to 25 years to complete. Each Gelug monastery uses its own set of commentarial texts by different authors, known as monastic manuals. Tib. Yigcha. The teachings of Tsongkhapa are seen as a protection against developing misconceptions in understanding and practice of Mahayana and Vajrayana Buddhism. It is said that his true followers take the great exposition of the stages of the path as their heart teaching. The great exposition of the stages of the path was completely translated into English in a three-volume set in 2004, under the title The Great Treatise on the Stages of the Path to Enlightenment. The translation took 13 years to complete, and was undertaken by scholars at the Tibetan Buddhist Learning Center, a non-sectarian Tibetan Buddhist educational center in Washington, New Jersey. A translation is also available in Vietnamese. In 2008, the 14th Dalai Lama Tenzin Gyatso gave a historical five-day teaching on the text at Lehigh University. Topic. Monasteries and lineage holders Topic. Monasteries Tsongkhapa founded the monastery of Ganden in 1409 as his main seat. Drepung Monastery was founded by Jamyang Choj, Sara Monastery was founded by Choj Shakya Yeshe and the Gyalwa Jendan Drup founded Tashi Lunpo Monastery. Before the Chinese occupation Ganden and Sara each had about 5,000 monks, while Drepung housed over 7,000. Lebrang Monastery, in Shahe County in Gansu Province and in the traditional Tibetan province of Amdu, was founded in 1709 by the first Jamyang Jaipa, Nawang Sandru. Many Gelug monasteries were built throughout Tibet as well as in China and Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> Lineage holders Tsongkhapa had many students, his two main disciples being Gyaltsibzha (1364–1431) and Kedrup Gelik Pelzang, first Panchen Lama (1385–1438). Other outstanding disciples were Togden Jampal Gyatso, Jamyang Choj, Jamchenpa Sherup Senj, and Jendan Drup, first Dalai Lama (1391–1474). 
After Tsongkhapa's passing, his teachings were held and spread by Gyaltsebja and Kedrup Gelik Pelzang, who were his successors as abbots of Ganden Monastery. The lineage is still held by the Ganden Tripas, the throne holders of Ganden Monastery, among whom the present holder is Tubton Naima Lungtok Tenzin Norbu, the 102nd Ganden Tripa and not, as often misunderstood, by the Dalai Lama. Among the main lineage holders of the Gelug are the successive incarnations of the Dalai Lama also commonly referred to as Gyalwa Rinpoche. The succession of the Panchen Lama, the Chagkia Dorje Chong, Nakan Kanchak Gyaltsen, Kaisho Tulku Tenzin Thrinli, Jamyang Shepa, Furchak Jampa Rinpoche, Jamyang Du Dorje, Takfu Rinpoche, Kachin Yeshe Gyaltsen Successive incarnations of Kayabje Yangzin Ling Rinpoche Successive incarnations of Kayabje Yangzin Trijang Lobsang Yeshe Tenzin Gyatso See also Schools of Buddhism Tibetan Buddhism Dalai Lama and Panchen Lama History of Tibet List of rulers of Tibet Gyoto Order Foundation for the Preservation of the Mahayana Tradition Yellow Shamanism Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Citations Topic. Sources The Rimi Philosophy of Jamgon Kongtrul the Great, A Study of the Buddhist Lineages of Tibet by Ringu Tulku, ISBN 1-59030-286-9, Shambhala Publications Ringu Tulku, The Rime Ris Med Movement of Jamgon Kongtrul The Great Paper given on 7th Conference of International Association for Tibetan Studies in June 1995 McKay, A., ed. 2003, History of Tibet, Routledgekurzen, ISBN 0-7007-1508-8 Mullen, Glenn H. 2001. The Fourteen Dalai Lamas, A Sacred Legacy of Reincarnation. Clear Light Publishers. Santa Fe, New Mexico. ISBN 1-57416-092-3. Short, Philip S. 2004, In Pursuit of Plants, Experiences of 19th and Early 20th Century Plant Collectors, Timber Press, ISBN 0-88192-635-3 External links The Dalai Lama The Dalai Lama's Namjil Monastery Dictionary Definition of Gelic